Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do an edit on this picture just changing colors and we're going to use the color mixer and in doing so we're going to pay close attention to the RGB and what's happening in, in it. For this we're going to use the info panel down here. If you haven't got it you can always put it in with, by going to view, studio and info there. Right. So let's start with from the adjustments and do a channel mixer and bring this up here. First thing, let's make this mud here a little bit richer color. And I'm going to drag from the little thing down there. So this little bit at the bottom, drag that to a point here and the RGB will only reflect what's there as opposed to being what's under the cursor, which you normally have from here. OK, so we can see from there already Red is the dominant colour, which gives it the reddish look. And green and blue are both in there, um, pushing it up. So it's not just you know, red, it's got that, that extra colour in it. OK, so what we're going to do then is we've got the red channel here, which means when in the channel mixer, when you chain, you've got the, the red up here, that means whatever you do down here is only ever going to affect red and be in proportion to the colour that you're playing with. So here, let's turn the red up. We're just going to go wild here and turn it all the way up. I know that looks bad, but we're going to turn it down again in a moment. Because we'll go to, let's take the green. This has gone up from 100 to 200, so got up 100%. So using the 100% rule, We've got to bounce that out and this will bring the whites back down again. So where there is green, let's bring that back down a bit here. Let's see, it's got a minus 50 because the green, the greens and blue are about the same here. So it's going to work on both of them. So that's going to bring that again about the same here. So the, cut, the picture has gone back there. But if I turn the layer on and off, now we've already we boosted the reds here and everything else is still in balance. Let's have a look at the greens. See if we can push up the greens a bit here. So let's turn the greens up in a similar sort of way. Let's go up to uh, about 150. Again, this has pushed this up again, but again, it's tilted. It's, the whole thing has gone a bit funny. Uh, and that's because if I go up to the sky here, here we can see that the green is, is higher than the blue, giving that a green tinge. So if I if I turn it down the blue here, it'll be using blue as the lever. And because blue is high, it'll have a greater effect than if I did red. So I'm going to pull that back the other way, 50. And then our white bounce will return to where it was before. And the blue here again is, and that's, that's it is much better now, but the green over here is a bit a bit stronger. OK, so I'm going to click on the layer again so that when I do another adjustment and put in another channel mixer, why am I putting another one? Because I'm going to use a different output channel here. Here I'm going to go to CMYK. So this gives me um, the CMY, but it in particular gives me the black that I can play with. Although it says CMY here, it is still going to be changing these here. So if I am looking at cyan, um, then actually only it's ever going to change the red for that. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, we're just in the cyan channel here, because if we look at the picture, the river here is looking a bit on the kind of bright side. If we drag up the this one here into all that and find something representative, then we can see it's mostly blue. It's got the green is next, then red right down, which means green and blue gives that a more of a, a cyan effect. So on the cyan here, I'm just going to make that a little bit on the, if I'm moving down here, that's going to actually, in bringing the black down, you turn the red up. And when you turn the red up, it has a greater effect, which means the green and blue are not as, as strong in their effect, which means it makes it less cyan. Sounds a bit complicated, but that's OK. Then next one. Magenta. Um, let's push that up to make this 
So magenta and magenta, which will add the, to the richness of this. So it's about 130-ish. And what we'll do is come kind of like back down to here. What we've got these, these are fairly similar. So let's just turn the cyan down on this. And that's going to recompensate the sky. So back to minus 30 odd there. Um, yellows, um, which is also means this works on blues. Let's if I turn the black up, then everything here gets affected. So the so the blues are sorry, the blue is works on on this. So this is going to increase the like the darkness of that. So um, I'll turn the magenta back down to balance. The, that out so it's been up 38 so that's down about a similar kind of amount and let's just go to black yeah and on the black channel everything gets shifted it's not just one of the colors so if I turn the cyan down so it says where there is cyan let's make this a bit brighter look at the effect of this it has a huge effect the black channel can, you know, it can go really nasty black, but let's brighten up the colours. Take that down just a little bit, just to increase the brightness there a little bit in the colours. It's minus 20. And then we'll compensate on the other two there. There we go. That's about enough for now. But the key, key thing is to watch what's happening down here in the pixels and use this to move around and look at where everything is. Thank you very much for watching.